Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Well, it is a very busy, very complicated weather situation that is taking shape over the next 24 to 48 hours. So here's our week kind of at a glance. Howling winds will stick around through tomorrow evening. So that's your big weather headline for today and tomorrow. Those rising rivers we've been talking about will slowly start to recede tomorrow. Most of them will reach their crest or their peak tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then slowly that water will start to back off. We do stay cool, unfortunately, for the long term, and we do have of rain coming back soon as well. We'll get rid of it briefly tomorrow, but then we have more rain coming in for Thursday and likely over the weekend. So let's talk about the wind first. We have seen 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts pretty consistently off and on throughout the day today. Some areas have seen 50 mile per hour gusts. Tomorrow we could see the wind increase even a little bit beyond that. We're talking possibly 55 mile per hour gusts. So all of these areas you see in pink from Boise eastward through the Magic Valley are under that wind advisory through midnight tomorrow. Tomorrow, down to the south in southern Hawaii County and portions of Twin Falls County where this purple line is. That's a winter weather advisory. If you can believe it, same story for some of our central mountain locations north of the east central mountains. We have some snow coming in as this exiting low pressure system keeps uh, kind of dragging some moisture in behind it and creates enough instability and uh, bringing cold air as well, right? All that comes together and we will likely see a couple of inches of accumulating snow. We also have avalanche concerns still in the east central mountains. We have flooding concerns, the areas you see here in Greer green or under aerial flood watches aerial meaning it covers a large area not aerial like from up above and all these little spots of bright green are those rivers that are at or near flood stage and then just for fun why not throw some spring snow into the mix there's a party at the Brundage snow stake today right look at the Lego figures started out as rain last night and look what happened overnight we saw about four inches of snow but look what happened to that snow as the day progressed at Brundage Bye bye snow. It melted away pretty quickly as those temperatures climbed up near 40 degrees. Nothing new there, but still we could pick up a little bit more before the week is done. This is a future cast for our snow totals. We're talking anywhere from maybe one to two inches for the lower elevations up to eight inches as you start climbing with the colder conditions and the moisture that will make a return towards the end of the week. We do have scattered showers still popping up across portions of southwest Idaho. These showers are very scattered in nature. Some storms, some just rain. We are seeing some very high elevation snow as well. And again, all this courtesy of that cold air that's coming in behind the cold front that moved through early this morning. We do dry out briefly tomorrow, but man, tomorrow morning, I have to warn you now, if you have kids that wait at the bus stop, here's 730 tomorrow. We'll be down into the 30s, and we're talking still sustained winds of about 25 to 35 miles per hour. So it is going to be a very brisk Wednesday morning. And in fact, tomorrow in general will just be a little bit brisk. It'll feel much like today, but it'll look better. We'll have some sunshine tomorrow. Those temperatures still well be low average, just mid 50s across the Treasure Valley. And there's those gusts possible of 55 miles per hour as you get east of Boise. Up in the mountains, we'll see partly cloudy skies, a couple little flurries possible in the morning. High temperatures from McCall, though, will touch about 40 degrees, 43 for Cascade as well. So that will cause, of course, more snow to melt, contributing to some of those rising rivers. But the lack of rain will kind of stabilize things just a little bit. That's why those rivers will start to recede. Partly cloudy and windy in the east central mountains. Magic Valley, you have a very windy day ahead of you as well. And our temperature trend, unfortunately, Don, doesn't show much change. We should be right around 60 to 61 for this point in April. We'll be just in the 50s from now through next Next week with those little off and on showers popping up Thursday, Sunday and Monday. Friday and Saturday, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, cooler than average, but the wind will back off. No real rain in the forecast, so we'll take what we can get at this point. I